Welcome back to Level Up. Uh, I am Swag on Zero, and today we have another build that game uh, style discussion video uh, type thing. Um, before I introduce the the thing that we're going to be talking about, let me introduce uh, the panel that we have. It's just me and one other person, and the is it the hard R or the hard rated? Yeah, I've been called the hard R a lot for all people. <laughs> Of melanin out there, y'all know what that means, and we just lost five views. <laughs> <laughs> Quattro, <laughs> that's how I get used to the stage. <laughs> now, now I wanted, uh, I wanted to introduce you to this because uh, introduce you first because this was actually your idea of a fighting game that you had a vision. Right. Um, for, see, for everybody wanted out there, I do contribute. Yeah. It's like once a year. <laughs> But I, once a year, I come gold. up with one good idea. I'm beating Chubbs. You, 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 right? you come in with that gold. You come in with that gold. It doesn't, it, like, it's still gold. It doesn't matter. So he, uh, we were talking about uh, building rosters. We was talking about a lot of games. I was thinking, hey, we should do a Marvel's DC. And he came to me. He was like, well, why don't you just do a Spider-Man? He got a huge uh, list of rogues and characters. Why don't you just do a fighting game just based on Spider-Man? I'm like, damn, that was good. Um <laughs> That's a great idea. Yeah, because, because simply put, how many Marvel or Street Fighter, Tekken, whatever, crossover, regular fighting games do you have? Look, I don't know how many Naruto games they are, but they're a lot. A lot. <laughs> so, but, but every time you have a Marvel game, it's like, I'm Peter, I'm here. What about everybody else? Nah, we ain't going to talk about any of them. Any of the Sinister Six? Six? Nah, they don't exist. But y'all can all fit in this game. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> yep, Come exactly. on, man. It, it got to the point where other people take Spider-Man villains and fight them in their series. Mm -hmm. It's almost like Batman. <laughs> it's literally right. like Batman. It's like we, we see a lot of Batman villains in fighting games. A lot. But I feel, I feel like something we love in the Spider-Man games that we play, like playing Web of Shadows, mm -hmm. playing the latest Spider-Man game. Heck, I'm going to jump all the way back to like playing Spider-Man Enter Electro. When you're playing these other characters I from the Spider-Man verse. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, look, look, age alert. What are you playing? Yeah, um, well, <laughs> you can't go that deep. <laughs> <laughs> back in the days of Station, of which we played on. So, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have these other crazy amount of characters in this world that can be introduced and then never brought over to this fighting game platform when you would just be like, yo, that person could play like this because they did this person X amount of times. Right. Let me get somebody else. Especially with all the, all the hotness coming off the Spider-Man realm in the Spider-Man movies in the Marvel Universe at this time. Yo, this needed time to capitalize on the Spider-Man fighting game. Yeah, we're, we're <laughs> in the golden age of Spider-Man. Right. We, we can't miss it. We we are in it right now, mm -hmm. Home, like Homecoming, Far From Home, Spider Man PS4, Into the Spider Verse, uh, all the comics mm -hmm. that are going on. It, it's it's big. It's big. It's the only thing that will make the you put the cherry on top of this is if spectacular Spider uh, Spider Man comes back, but yeah. I know that's not going to happen. So <laughs> copyrights, <laughs> sadly, uh, Disney right. Plus, you got to work something out. So please, but yeah. So we thought, why not make a Spider-Man Spider Verse uh, fighting game? Um, I couldn't think of a title. I was just going to call it Spider Gideon because that was the like the sequel to Spider Verse, uh, where they had all Dog, the Spider Mans together. I wrote down Spider Man the game, so you are winning. Title, <laughs> <laughs> because that there's, there's already been too many Spider Man <laughs> as a, it, as a look, game it, title. Look, you are better. I'm. I was thinking Webs of Fury. <laughs> that sounds like it's already taken. Like, <laughs> like, that sounds like it's been taken. I don't. Okay, I don't know. It does sound like it's been taken. <laughs> but um, in this video, we're gonna uh, be uh, breaking down um the game. We're gonna be going down character lists. Now, we originally was gonna put twenty. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We was really going to have 40. I was going to come with 20. He was going to have 20. But I realized that was harder to do. <laughs> so we're going <laughs> to just knock it down to 20. And then uh, we'll decide what characters should be DLC and all that. And also talk about mm -hmm. their fighting style. If they're going to be a zoner. If they're going to be a um, a uh, rushdown character or a grappler. Things like that. 
Uh, mm-hmm. But before that, I wanted to talk about like the game style of it. Like, who would you have make this game? Uh, what systems would you have it on? All that jazz. Well, with it being a Marvel title, I need this to cross all brands. I need this Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. Right. <laughs> you put this on the shelves because depending on what the person have, they're gonna want to pick it up. I see. Spider-Man I see them saying, sells. "Right, the Spider Man name sells." So if we look at how much and how it's already a greatest hits on Sony, the last Spider Man game, mm-hmm. other systems begged for that. Begged. For that game, yo! Shout out to Sony for getting the sole rights to that. That was amazing. Facts. Even but, in every interview I saw with them, people asked, "Is this going to be on Xbox?" Nope. Yep. Well, <laughs> well, looks like y'all got to buy a system. <laughs> right, right. Look, that's how I keep winding up with Nintendo systems. Yo, they're going to be a new Mario Party. Bring it up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Facts. So I would love to have this. Across the board, it's something that I love because I'm playing a lot of the um, Power Rangers, um, um, Revenge of the Grid, Into the Grid. I'm saying that grid. wrong. <laughs> Settle the Grid. Thank you. I knew I was saying it wrong when I said it too. It came out my face. The I battle, play it. Is it Battle for the Grid or of the? I think it's Battle for the Grid. For everyone out there, just let y'all know, I'm that guy that plays stuff that don't know the name of it. Power Rangers. <laughs> That's all we call right. it. That's all the we Power call it. Rangers game, the joint where you fight. I'm from Philly. This is how I talk. And anytime, <laughs> anytime we play, it's like, you want to play Power Rangers? Yeah. We don't <laughs> say, do you want to play Power Rangers Battle for the Grid? Like, what? Mm-hmm. you could have you could have shortened that mm-hmm. sentence, but yeah. Right. Right. I, like, people say, I don't got time for it. But I do. But I, I'm lazy. Let me be straight. <laughs> <laughs> I would love if it was cross platform too, the way that is. Okay. Okay. Because I feel like the idea of cross-platform gives more life to a game. Because, like, if I'm playing a game and it's only available to the other people that have that on that system, I'm just hoping someone else on that system has that game and is on at that time when I'm playing. Right. <laughs> that That's a rare thing. That's why I appreciate right. cross-play. I appreciate cross-play right. for what it's doing. I work. I work overnight. So I'm playing in midday when most people are at work. Mm-hmm. So I'm missing primetime gaming hours. Yep. If you click into the idea of cross-play, now I can play anyone on that system. And then you know how they get the choices. Do you want to do region? Do you want to do worldwide? Right. That almost always gives me someone to play. Right. And that does nothing more than make you keep playing the game. Yep. <laughs> I 100% agree. I agree. So, now, so, would you have a story mode in this? I think a story mode is required for fighting games. As a somebody that plays fighting games, and yes, most people that play fighting games, I feel like just want to fight online. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I like, get it. Like, because mostly, most, uh, well, I mean, recently every fighting game has a story now, but a lot of them just had arcade. Right. Where you just See, play in the arcade. I love. I feel like, since, especially since it's the world of Spider-Man, and even if you go back to the idea of how they did in 90s Spider-Man, mm-hmm. like towards the end of the series, I hope this ain't a spoiler for something over 20 years ago, or 30 if, years if ago. It's over, if it's over five years, <laughs> the spoiler okay. tag is gone. All right. So, update alert. So, <laughs> in 90s Spider-Man, at the end, Spider had to tra- travel through the Spider-Verse or the Marvel Universe, whatever one you want to call it for that time, to get help on his quest to find Mary Jane. With him in this play style, of course, probably saving Mary Jane, defeating the Sinister Six type storyline profile, where you just go through and board by board, you fight this person, and you fight this person, and you fight this person. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's an interesting story mode for you to play, along with an arcade mode, because guess what? That's exactly what Power Rangers did. Yep, it did. Uh, any you, other modes you would add in this? Um, outside the arcade, the story, multiplayer, local and online. Please bring back local player. I'm old. I like playing with somebody sitting next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I do. I do too. I do. Especially if you like having like a game night. Right. right. Not, you, uh, you gotta have that. The other thing I can see you do is. Doing an in-game store of which doesn't require outside currency. Mm-hmm. Hey, 
you won this well, you get this many points. You can use these points to buy gallery or second costumes, i.e. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Mm -hmm. Like, you didn't funnel money into that game like crazy (laughs) for that. No, you was able to use your reward battle points in order to go to that store to buy Servbot, who didn't nobody really want because he's unfair, who I love to play. Right. <laughs> now, um, for that, I would only, like, for, like, uh, and, like in, in-game currency, I would only mm-hmm. have that for, like, sh- uh, special costumes, which I'll get down to when we get the characters. Um, story- See, I would love that for costumes and maybe comic books. So you would just could buy like comic book carrots um, covers, how they do in like a gallery mode. Oh yeah, and just like have like there's loading screens or something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. Like it wasn't I think it was Ultimate Ninja to that? Yes, yes okay. it did. Yeah, yeah. Good good, good call. Yeah. Yeah, I, it, that I it love. literally came to my brain. I don't know <laughs> where that I don't know how it reached there, but um, <laughs> now as far as story mode, I I like yours. What I would do since uh, my uh, personal character list has an influx of spider um, spider heroes, quote unquote. I would mm-hmm. do these uh, comic book Spider Verse um, arc and do like okay. uh, Moreland trying to find all the spider um, spider like characters and you know feasting on them. That way we mm-hmm. can implement as many characters in the story as we can. Okay, that's what I would do because I feel like if you have characters on the side, that's an idea. The only time I feel like characters that should be in a base roster is if they're mm-hmm. included in the story. If they're not, then okay. I feel like they should be DLC. Or like a reward if you play a certain amount of time or gain a certain amount of rewards or stuff like that. That'd be nice. I would like that too. Yeah. But everything else, I 100% agree on. I feel like Midway should make it. Uh, cross play, cross platforms, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. local and uh, online multiplayer, all that jazz. You hit it right on the head. So, uh, Marvel, get... do it, <laughs> please, please. And you know, if, if you guys like what you see, um, the real nerd coalition at gmail.com, you can email us, uh, let us know what you think and all that. So, you can, you know, holla at your boys. Uh, <laughs> I, I just want to voice character, you, you, right? Let me voice somebody, can I voice whoever my you voice? think I sound like, <laughs> let me be them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pick you as shocker or something. <laughs> look, uh, I will look, man. I will look. I will be him. I'm telling you, I will be him. I will embody him. I will cosplay him for you. I cosplay. Help. <laughs> it's easy. It's easy. Now, right. let's let's start. Uh, let's get into characters. Um, the way I'm gonna do it is uh, you pick one, I pick one. You pick one, I pick one. All that. I'm goes. here for that. So, um. We won't go down the list and like, so that way we'll know, uh, I, cause I have a long list. I'm gonna just cross out right. anyone you name so we can avoid copies like that. Okay. Uh, so, I'll do the same there. Yeah. So I'll let you go first. All right. From the gate, let's just get him out of the way. Cause he, you want to do a Spider-Man game, Peter Parker's in the game. Absolutely. <laughs> it, it, if you don't, oh, it's oh, a problem. Rip. From the rip. And I, I need him. I see, see, I see him more as a balanced character than how he is in most games now. And you know what? I still need. I love their taunt. I love taunts in the game. I love interactive openings in the game when people see each other. Yeah. So just seeing, seeing Peter Parker just come in, and you can still have him do things like the Maximum Spider. Everybody can have one special. I don't need a lot of specials for this. This is the first game. Like, uh, I would just have like a level one and then a level like two for right. a special. So, just something so, really, let me, something quick and then something uh, big. Maybe we can expand me, on that in a different episode. Alright, let me EX a move. Wait, it's a Spider-Man game. Call it a Web Blast move. <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. I, 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 I could dig that. I could dig that. But I want traditional Spider-Man in the red and the blue, taking pictures, just talking trash. I want him. Right. I want that Spider-Man. The one we grew up with, the one we love, the one that covers all the games. Mm-hmm. Peter Parker. 100% agree. Now... <laughs> Uh, like I said earlier, if there were in-game currencies, I would have it buy costumes. Now, yes, I just want to step on that real quick. 
the first thing I want, I want the Spider-Man PS4 suit because that thing is gorgeous. It Love it. Incredible. I will have the Sam Raimi. That is a classic Spider-Man suit. It is. I like the uh, Stark suit. The um, the mm. one in Homecoming. I do like that. I actually like the one from Far From Home better the, with the red and black. Uh, now, only put this because I feel like if I put this person as a character, they will play too similarly. Um, and that will be the Ben Riley costume. So the, um, the Scarlet Spider. That. The Scarlet Spider. Because Ben plays, it. like he literally is Peter Parker. There's not too mm-hmm. much of a huge difference in fighting style. Unless you pick Kane, which, first of all, why you put him in this game? He's the worst Spider-Man We don't ever. know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. And then I would just have regular like Peter Parker in like a hoodie and some jeans fighting. See, I'm going to add one more costume. Mm-hmm. Look. Because everybody going to want it, and you looking for it, Black Suited Spider-Man. You know what? I kind of had him on the list as a different character, because I would have him play okay. differently. I okay. Him play oh. differently. But since he brought up, let's talk about that Black Suit Spider-Man. Um, Black Suit Spider-Man, I see him as a more of a long-range character, not a zoning character, but more of a long-range, mm-hmm. where he uses more of the symbiote instead of... Um, Instead of fighting, like rushing down like a regular Spider Man character fights in Spider Man. Mm-hmm. So, kind of like how Web of Shadows was. When he hit the ground, you see like symbiote like flying up from the ground, things like that. You see nice. like, the extended arms like that. Almost not a not like a Venom style, but almost like that. So, that's where I will put the Black Suit Spider Man in. See, These I can see more, you picking them in a game. And when you pick one, it'd be like Spider Man. But when you pick him, it'd be like Dark Spider Man. Right, something. right, yeah. Right, <laughs> Spider Man, do your job, Dark Spider Man. Get out of my way. Oh, all right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> kind of how was. You have a dark mode, yeah. a light mode. Yeah, kind of like that. Kind of like that. Uh, See, oh. now going along that list of that character in the black suit, you know I'm going Venom. Absolutely, he has to be. Venom. <laughs> he has to be. Right. I, I have a bad taste for Venom right now, but <laughs> I'm not gonna. I get I'm that. Not gonna bring that up. See, Venom that's is, why Venom is I'm, a cool character. I can't. That's why I'm going. I'm going back. Um, believe. You, now I know your spider knowledge is deeper than my first one. is Flash, right? First one is Eddie Brock. That's the first. Venom. Eddie Brock. Uh, Sorry. Flash Sorry. was um Agent Venom, which I didn't really care. Thank about. you. I didn't really care. Thank about you. Agent Venom. So I'm going Eddie Brock Venom. Okay. That Venom when yeah. I'm here because. I don't like him. Yeah, <laughs> that that pure That's hate. That's why I'm exactly that pure hate Venom. I like that. Exactly. Now, and once it, oh sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to say uh, if because I have Venom on my list. Of course, I have Venom on my list. I will have him more <laughs> as a grappler. See, I, I saw him as more of a long range character, but I can see grapple in him. Right. Well, I was <laughs> maybe we could do like a hybrid. Have him as a mm. slash um slash um zoning character. Cause I can see him like attacking you from a distance. Kinda like how Lord Zed does in Power Rangers. The way he like he has a long range of attacks. But then you could get close to him, he could punch and grab you, throw you across the screen, kinda how like Broly does in Dragon Ball Fighters, things like that. Okay. I can respect that. Uh so now one to the list. We're talking about Spider-Mans. Of course, I said there's going to be more than one Spider-Man. You know, I had to put him on my list. My favorite superhero right now, Miles Morales. Look, he on my list too. I ain't going to hold you. It's like he <laughs> and he will definitely play differently than Spider-Man because he has a different arsenal of powers. He could turn invisible. He also has the Venom Blast. So that that those two alone could give you crazy amount of combos. Yeah, crazy yeah, amount could. of combos. Have and especially I, with the electric in it, ooh, yeah. And I feel like he would be a lot faster too, a lot faster than Peter Parker as a character. Mm. Yeah. So he'll be See? like he'll be that annoying like uh, GT Goku in Dragon Ball Fighters. That annoying. <laughs> I get that. I play with him though, and his costume gonna look so good. Yeah. Uh, for costumes, I'll just put him uh, the regular costume and then the Spider Verse costume because both of them. That's fine. Excellent. I love. I like. I actually really like the Spider Verse one with the spray paint. That that that, that spray me. paint really did something. I it didn't did like it at nice. first. I didn't like it at first, but once I found the reason, I was like, you know what? I, that was too good. That that like made him his own character. 
I got gotcha. you. So with that, I'm going to step over to the villains for a minute mm -hmm. because you need some villains in this guy. Now, the reason I wanted Eddie Brock for Venom because I do want Matt Gargan, but I want him as the Scorpion. Okay. Yep. Okay. I can... You know what? I've seen the Scorpion in Mugens. I'm not going to hold you. I've I seen him to. in Mugens. I have too. Yep. From him in that grapple style, but then still having that tail aspect. And even you want to get a projectile shooting acid out the tail and everything in that yep. nature. I see that as such a good character for the game. Yep. You give him a little strength buff. You slow him down. Mm -hmm. He would fit. <coughs> I like but that. that's the Matt Gargan I want. I want Scorpion Matt Gargan. I've personally never been a fan of Scorpion, but okay, I, I can see him being in this game easily. I can see him being in this game. Right, now, right. Back on the villains track, you gotta mm -hmm. have you gotta have one of his most iconic villains, and that's Green Goblin. Have them on here too. We on the same page. However, <laughs> I'm not going with the regular Green Goblin. I'm going with the Ultimate Comics Green Goblin, where he busts okay. up and is actually the Goblin. Oof. <laughs> that would, that's a that's a that's a dangerous man. <laughs> that, like fighting against that, just someone huge on the screen like that. Mm -hmm. Not saying the Green Goblin, like uh, not saying the Green Goblin, the regular one, is corny or anything because I think he would play w tremendously. But I feel like the Ultimate right. one would be a cooler uh, way to fight. Now, do you have him use the glider? Uh, no. I would say that for a different one. I would say that for, like, I feel like there's there's going to be more than one Green Goblin in this game. If they do put Ultimates in there, they're going to have to put the regular, regular one in there. Okay. Okay, got you. Now, so, I like, like, so you know Green Goblin's on my list as well. Uh-huh. So I'll, 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 I'll put them on here as well. So, so, but I don't think we should forget about the women. It is 2020. Yeah, I got a, I, I got a good amount of women on here, so. Yeah. Duh. I need Felicia Hardy in this game. Yep, black cat. I want the black she the cat. First, she was the first on my list. Black cat. Now, I think she will be. She will play in an interesting style. I, I can see her being more of a parry character. I can see that. Like, cause she can fight, but she yes, she, she can. you up. She has that sex appeal where you you can see yourself slipping, and she will just like parry you all the time. That's how I see her fight style. I've not been to enough cons to prove that sex appeal, man. <laughs> <laughs> not even, not even going, not even. Hope my fiance don't listen to this. <laughs> Can we get some water over here? Yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> oh, I deserve that. <laughs> Dude, no, yeah. the black cat, black cat fighting style in this, her hands would be lethal in this game. Lethal. She does have that whip if mm -hmm. she needs it. So she, <laughs> she might play as kind of like Cat, um, uh, Catwoman mixed with uh, mm -hmm. Cheetah. That would be the best Dude, way I could experience. Uh, I see a cat. Catwoman, a Cheetah, a Felicia from Darkstalkers. She got oh, yeah. range in this yeah, area. She got range. She got range. She got range. I 100% I oh. agree. I 100% oh, agree that with that. I see that as a highly picked character if that happens. Mm -hmm. Now, since we're talking about women in here, you got to bring the, the we got to bring some of the spiders in here, and the one of the most popular ones is Spider Gwen. Also on the list, we are we are right here. Like yeah, that, that's why I said I was like, let me pick, <laughs> let me you know, draw <laughs> because I was like, we're gonna have a lot of the same. Uh, Spider Gwen is like she got crazy popular. Crazy mm -hmm. popularity within it. even uh, almost more than Miles Morales, to be honest. Like, because she mm -hmm. shot up with popularity. So, um, as far as fight style, I mean, I don't really see it being too different from Peter Parker, but more of a ballet style because she has ballet shoes. So, I could see her, like, you know, doing like a kind of like Cat from Power Rangers. I could see her. Almost with spin around you moves type pat pat spin combo messing up your frames. Yeah. All right, look. <laughs> yeah. That would be annoying because she would be so annoying. I need somebody big to rush her down, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm picking Alexander, aka the Rhino. 
Yep, the Rhino. The Rhino, that would be the other big character I had that's not Goblin. That's the other big character I had that's not Goblin. Yo, I feel like... Because, hey, every every fighting game got some big character. Where you got a Zangief, a Hagar, or even the Juggernaut. And that's who I'm basing his fighting style off in here. Yep. The Juggernaut. Run, you... Damn, I am strong. I hit. <laughs> Don't get in the corner. Don't get in the corner. Don't get in the corner with him. <laughs> That's all I got to say. Don't, it'd be like Kuma with the hands. Up, down. You're not moving. <laughs> now, next on my list is a hero that I feel like... I mean, I'm sorry, not a hero. A villain that doesn't really get much attention. And mm-hmm. I feel like this will be like a... Not a grappler style, but he will have a lot of command grabs. And that's Craven mm-hmm. the Hunter. I got him on here too. Craven because Hunter it makes will be sense. high. Craven <laughs> Hunter will just be, be high. so like, good. And you know he he has that wild like he, he's wild. You know what I'm saying? So and you See, know he fought off against he fought Black Panther. He like he has like he has some he has some notches in his like on his belt. So you know what I'm saying? See, I can see Craven the Hunter fighting somewhere around the area of um, Hagar mixed okay. with Saber Tooth. From Saber Two from NBC Two. Gotcha. Yep. Yep. I could definitely see that. I could definitely see that. And not too see, much of a jumper. Like everything he does, is right? Like, he 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 wants you on the ground. Yes. And I can see Craven the Hunter be that character with that good anti air. Spider Man, yep. just come down here. Yep, oh, exactly. what? <laughs> I could definitely see that. I could definitely, especially if he's a hunter. He wants you on right. his level. Exactly. His level. Now, for me, he's nice, but you can't hunt, which you can't see, and that's why I need my man quitting back. I need Mysterio in the game. Yeah, he's definitely on my list. I feel like he will be the most versatile character out of all of them. Dude, I couldn't even come up with a proper fighting style to describe Neither Mysterio. I, I would say more zoning. <laughs> I would mm-hmm. say more zoning, because some of his moves could be just straight illusions that you think mm-hmm. you have to block. But you don't actually have to block them because they're just illusions. So they could really play with this. They He's that really... character when you think it's a striking move, but that strike is actually a grapple. Yep. Pat, y'all, yep. you caught. Oh, come yep. on. Yep. <laughs> he, uh, just, just a trickster. A straight trickster. Yes. I lo- yep. I 100% agree. That that would be cool. That would be, that'd be, that'd be that, so good. He needs his own, he needs his own like label for a fighting style. <laughs> yeah, he, he needs his own label for a fighting style if we added him. Now, the no, next... I, I, I could almost imagine what his windscreen were looking like. Just him just snapping his fingers and stuff popping in, popping out. Then he just vanishing off. He's just like, that was cool. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> now, the next character I have, um, I would feel like it's a unique uh, style playing, and that would be Chameleon. Now the way Ooh. the way I will have them play, I forget that character in Tekken where you pick them and they just have like they have someone else's fighting style. Mukajin. Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. So each time you pick them, you're really picking random. Okay, okay, I like it. That's how I would see it. No. It, it will see, be hard to pull off. Like, I don't think he will be able to do, like, Mysterio. But he'll be able to pull off, like, someone like Craven. He'll be able to pull off someone like Black Hat. He'll be able to pull off someone like uh, Miles Morales. Like that. I'm cool with that. As long as he got a special on, like, a spiral for MVC2. When he just turned to different people and body yep, you but yep. finish as himself. Yep. He'll be like, wait. Yep. That was fresh. <laughs> yep, I agree. I, that would be tough. That would be tough. <laughs> Now, speaking of tough, I want I want my man from the streets in here. I want Hobby Brown. Yes, I want the Prowler. I didn't even I didn't even have him on my list. Shockingly, dude, I have Chameleon. That was a good one for me. I didn't even think of Prowler. I don't know how I didn't think of Prowler. Like, <laughs> that moment we like, I thought of Miles, but I ain't think of you. Right? Yeah. <laughs> that that see, threw me off. Okay. See, Prowler. I feel like outside into the Spider Verse, people was like, "Who are you?" Right. Like even when even when Gambino played them, people was like, "I don't know who he is," right? Because he really right. He only got that big push in the comics, right? And <laughs> in the comics, he literally was like the Sinister Six and one. Yes, he had everything. 
He had shocker. He had vultures. He had like, it, it, he was he was really versatile. He's almost like arguably get mad at me in the comments if you want to. Technically, a Deathstroke type character. I agree. I can see that. Just more of a rushdown instead of a zoner. Right. Right. And see, especially with the claws and then everything else he has, you'd be like, wait a minute. Yep. You do all this? Yes. Why have I never seen you before? Good question. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, for my next character, uh, I want someone that could be more of a zoner, but if you get mm -hmm. close to them, they can they can, they can give you the hands if needed, and that's Silver Sable. Had her on here too, loving it. After playing, after playing, look, I played Spider Man for the charity stream uh, mm -hmm. this weekend. Silver Sable, I, I really liked her as a character. Like I liked her more and more. <laughs> the more I played, right. the more I liked her. So I was first like, hey, off. I if y'all haven't seen his charity, if y'all have not seen Swag streams, please watch Swag, Swag streams. Just to watch him. He's funny. <laughs> First of all, yeah, I did play Spider-Man with a Miles Morales mask. It was getting hot in there. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, a, and a sunflower crown? Yep. <laughs> yeah, it was it was hot. It was hot. <laughs> Not even going front. <laughs> but yeah, Duh. Silver Saber, I think like you you got an arsenal of guns. Now that, mm -hmm. that would be the death stroke. That would be like a death stroke. If any. He would if, if not a dead shot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. <laughs> yeah. Lay it down, guns <laughs> all. Cr stop playing these games, okay? <laughs> oh, you are close. I still got hands. Still Come got on, it. still got. It. Yep. <laughs> See, right. now with that, mm -hmm. I I would like to throw in Herman Schultz. Yes, I know their real names. I uh -huh. want the shocker. Okay, okay, because I was like. <laughs> I don't know the shocker by I don't, I don't know this character by name, but yeah, he was on my list too. Um, right. I don't know if he'll be a long range or not. I think he'll just he'll be up close, but he'll have that one move that's a full screen attack. I can see that. I can see that. I can see them having Dan type blast. They go, but they don't go that far. Right. <laughs> right. Because yeah. I feel like the personally... stronger the, the stronger the beam, the uh, shorter the range. Exactly. See, because personally, I didn't want him and Electro, so I just went Shocker for that reason. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I feel like him enough, because he's always been that Spider-Man villain that's somehow still around. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'd be like, Shocker, you again? Just trying to get this money, Spider-Man. Take this electric. Hey, you know what? I can respect you. This is, it is not no true motive. He's like, I'm a thug. I'm here to do a job. Even even in the Spider-Man game, he wasn't even counted in Sinister Six. He wasn't. He, <laughs> he was there, but he wasn't. Yeah. It's so bad. <laughs> now, I know you said people get Electro and Shocker confused or like they're almost too similar. I personally disagree, uh -huh. and I'll put Electro in here. Okay. Electro will definitely be a zoning character. Mm -hmm. He will be a hard... Like, he's one of them characters where it's like, you got to work to get in. You gotta okay. Work to get like to have to get into where he's at. You have to work for it. That's mm -hmm. how I see Electro. And you know, for costumes, of course, you could have like the Amazing Spider-Man one or the Ultimates one, where he's blue instead of yellow. All that. You can have all that. See somebody. I think that's all that. Doctor Otto Octavius. He was on my list. I was wait. I was like, like. I wanted to bring him up, but there was no segue for him to come up. <laughs> but I was like, yo, Doc Ock. Doc Ock would be a problem. Doc Ock would probably be a grappler. <laughs> look, look, you, like, I'm about to give you the easiest scheme for him. We're going to scribble out freaking Omega Red, paint in <laughs> Doc Ock. We're good. That's it. They do the same stuff in a video game. They do the same stuff. Right. I can see the arms going, grabbing, get the grab, special arms everywhere. You just like, come on, Doc, I can just, I can just Doc. See, I can just he, uh, see him choking you with one of his arms, like uh, then lifting himself up to you and just giving you like a quick two piece and then throwing you down. <laughs> He's the person that got the half board leg grab. You got to learn your jumps. <laughs> you got to learn how to jump. Right. Yep. Now, I see it. 
one character that um they're not really a Spider Man character. But uh-huh. I feel like they should be in this game, and that's Taskmaster. I had him on an extra list because I wasn't sure what we was going with here. Right. But I can respect that. <laughs> I, I'm, I put all my characters together, so when we do like a base and DLC list, we could have mm-hmm. like, okay, we'll know. But no, I, I feel like Taskmaster would be a DLC character, but no, Taskmaster would be too mm-hmm. tough. And he could be one of the characters <laughs> was like, as you're playing him, he'll have like a meter, like where he like learns you. Mm-hmm. And then he could start taking some of the moves you do. Oh, I can see that. Can you imagine you use the web on him three times, then the third time he just blocks it automatically. Doesn't work. Right. Wait, yep. What? So you gotta play. What you, gotta, you gotta fight him differently. <laughs> you gotta fight. You gotta have new tactics. Like, that, I can see, that, sounds... could be a, that could be. A, that could be. That's definitely interesting. Like if you do like the web bullets, you hit like example. Right. You hit him twice with it. Then you try to hit him the third time, it don't work. But I feel like <laughs> that'll be broken in a way. So I would say that third time he'll do it, and then it'll have to reset again. I feel so like it'll hit you the just third made... time, doesn't for the fourth <laughs> and fifth, but the sixth time he'll block it, and then you know what I'm saying? Like that. I feel, I feel like you just made a gold trophy in the game, land the same move on th- Taskmaster three times. And you just <laughs> be like, oh, that sounds easy. Play it. Nope. You st- that sounds like the ultimate train. That sounds like when you go to training, uh-huh. you train with Taskmaster. And Taskmaster <laughs> is the permanent training person that you got to fight every time. <laughs> and you just be tired, but like he sucks. I hate him. <laughs> I, I would love to see but, him. Like he, He's an awesome character. Taskmaster is an oh, awesome yeah. character. I don't care what anyone said. He's an awesome oh, character. Yeah. So I, can, I can see him fighting like in so many different styles. Right. Now, with you saying style and me talking about people that suck, I'm going with a man that's purely style, Michael Morbius. Morbius. Yes. Okay. okay. I, was like, I won. Morbius. I, he, he was on my list. He was on my list. He was on my list. It's, it's the I don't fact know that, too much about him. I, so I can't really, right? like, I can't really punch he's for a, him. Simply put, he's a plasma vampire, mm-hmm. but he sucks plasma through his hands. Yes, he can use his mouth as fangs and go full vampire. That can happen. Uh-huh. Go like full man bat. But that doesn't happen but so much. Right. I would be interested to see him in something. I feel like if he bites you, he'll steal some of your life. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Right. Like he had like quarter circle forward, he takes your life for curl circle back, he takes your special gauge. Yep. <laughs> He's that character that leads you down almost the same way, kind of, or he does his special and it leaves you without a special bar, kind of similar to in Naruto. If Neji did the move right, your chakra was gone. Yeah, <laughs> it's gone. I, I can see him with that type of play style. I'm just here to take you down. Oh, now you can't do anything. I can. <laughs> <laughs> Now. Plus, I can see him for ultimate costumes with different jackets, different yep. fly jackets. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. Now, um, because you picture, uh, you said Morbius, I'm going to put uh, Morlon in here. Now, he was the Ooh. main villain. He was the main villain in the Spider Gideon. I mean, uh, Spider Verse, uh, the comic book. Okay. So mm-hmm. having him like. Just someone whose strength is on another level to the point where, mm. and everything about him is like, I need to get these spiders in order for me to live. So I feel like he'll have a uh, he'll have a mechanic where if he fights, if he fights uh, spider like characters, he'll be mm-hmm. a tad bit stronger. In the fight. Okay, he'll be a tad bit stronger. That that may be breaking the game a little bit, but. It, oh, just a little bit. It's made up, so who cares? <laughs> <laughs> we're making it up as we go. But he has incredible strength. He has incredible uh, intelligence. He has incredible fighting skills. Uh, the only thing he doesn't have is en- uh, energy projectile, so he has to be a rushdown character. His only mm-hmm. weakness will be um, keeping him at bay. Okay. See, talk about keeping things at bay. There's certain things you can't live without. If you want to play Street Fighter, you need real Kid and Akuma. I'm going to play the Spider-Man game. I need Spidey, Venom, and Carnage. Carnage, yep, he was on my list, too. Now, he will be a wild <laughs> character. Like, I feel Look, like he will I'm, have everything. 
I feel like he have everything, but you know what? He a glass cannon. Yep. He got pure Kuma syndrome. He going to draw off. He gets you. But if you lay him down with one good rhino move, half a bar. What is going on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can just dish it. Can't take it. Because he don't expect to get hit. That's why his defense is low. I, yep. Okay. I can definitely see that. But I, I can see Carnage. And he'd be a bl- such a blend between two of them. And if you wanted to... Like, I can see him... What like his web would be different, whereas Venom and Spider Man might shoot a web to stop you. I can shoot hit see his web as a grab type move. Web come here and bring oh wait a minute, yep, you just keep coming with it? Yep. <laughs> he'll swing you over. So Yep, that that'd be fire. <laughs> no problem. Uh next one I got, I want someone that goes like off the rails. It's just okay. Off the rail. you, you unexpected. You fight him. Mm-hmm. like he's one of the characters you look at like he's going to be like Krillin in Dragon Ball Fighters like Krillin ain't that good but you get that one mm-hmm. patch and now Krillin's a top tier well he mm-hmm. technically he ain't top tier but A tier he's A tier and for that I got Spider Ham yes he be so funny it will be hilarious <laughs> just him being very cartoony like he'll bring like a, a cinder block smash it on the mm-hmm. ground then the like wherever you're standing that like a panel will flip up and mm-hmm. have fly towards him, take out his mallet, just swinging at you. Like, <laughs> I think that I think it would be great. Make Spider one of his specials could be a piano falling from the sky. Just implement a just implement a Looney Tunes character. That's <laughs> <laughs> that's all. That's all, and I think that would be crazy. See, you said crazy, but it don't get no crazier than Screwball. Screwball, uh, <laughs> that is crap. I gotta look. I gotta look them up. Cause I think oh. they, I think they were on the Spider Man game. It is. It is. She was the She's in there so heavy. She's the online presence that you gotta do all the stuff, going across the city, chasing stuff, and then you finally get to her and she got hands and you like, what's going on? I can see it now. Wait, I gotta post this. Pat, wait, what is you doing? Right. This is a fighting game. <laughs> like have a flash from a camera being attacked. Exactly. She's that person. Flashy, you dizzy. Then she runs up with a nice ten piece combo. You like, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> excuse I, me. I what are you doing? See now. I gotta get I gotta be dead to your True balls. True ball is wild. She is fast. She can fight, and she's a social media villain. I can only in- imagine the interactions coming out of her face for this game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she went, I can't wait to tweet this. <laughs> She'll be like, like Cassie Cage. Exactly. It'd be like a Cassie Cage type style. Perfect. Now, uh... uh. Next up, I, I, I'm putting some more spider uh, characters in here. Put some more spider okay. characters. We got to. Um, okay. I'm gonna put one of my personal favorites, Silk. I liked her for the little. You like Silk? Had, I liked her. <laughs> I liked her mm-hmm. a lot. She's much quicker than Spider Man. Her webs come out of each finger, so they're uh, organic. So mm-hmm. knowing what she could do, it's going to be insane. She could just wrap mm-hmm. you up easily, especially with her mm-hmm. speed. Especially with her speed, because it's already been said that she, um, like she's much faster than Peter Parker. They got bit by the same okay. spider, but she's much faster. And I feel like she'll probably fight stronger on her team when Peter Parker is with her. Okay. And probably fight a little bit weaker when Peter Parker is against her. I get that. I can understand that interaction a little bit. Right. But if I'm going to talk about somebody. That really needs Peter Parker to calm them down. I need Dr. Kirk Connors. I want the lizard. Lizard. (laughs) I did have him on my list. Because not only is he going to have that strength. Mm -hmm. He's going to be that controllable character that's just strong. Yeah. He don't don't got no projectiles. Yeah, he got a tail that he can use from time to time. But he is that character that just get in your face. I'm just have to straight fight you, and if you win, you win. And when you knock him out while he's on the ground, he turn back to Kirk Connors. <laughs> uh, yep, that's a great close. That's a great close. <laughs> I think someone is like that on Blaze Blue. 
I think oh, it's I gotta... like where they get possessed in the beginning of the mm-hmm. game. And then after uh after they lose the possession comes out the body. Something like oh, that. Oh, I can that'd be love. He'd be in he be like, I can't control it. And and then turns into the lizard at the beginning of the match, and then you just slide over to Spider Man like Dr. Connors. Right. <laughs> Now, I don't, I only got three more characters on my list, and then we can Fair. start breaking it down. I don't know how many you got, but only got three more. Uh, sure. One of them, I'm not a huge fan of this Spider-Man, but unlike a lot of the Spider-Man, he doesn't use his webs too much, and that's Spider-Man mm-hmm. 2099. Okay. I, I, I don't know what his fighting style would be, to be honest. You putting the cape on him? <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I feel, as much as I don't like him, I I like his outfit. Mm-hmm. I like his outfit. I like. I prefer the white one over the blue one, but I like his outfit. Okay. So yeah, I, see, he, he always comes up to me like always like got like stinging moves. Mm-hmm. Like he got that char- like that character that hits you with moves that pause you for a second. Right. <laughs> that ooh, I like that. Oh, now if I'm gonna think about somebody that can pause things, I'm going with the man that somehow paused time on his life. I want Lonnie, aka Tombstone. Boom! I didn't. I didn't have him on my list. I, didn't I have got him, on, him on a Solomon Grundy type fight style. Okay. Yep. Yep. Once again, I am strong. I am here to fight. Yep. I have double armor. <laughs> <laughs> he that kills you, you gotta hit twice. Wait, wait! Yep, yep. yep. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but the thing but the difference between him and Solomon Grundy, he's more sentient than Grundy is. Tombstone used guns. Yeah. But still has all this other stuff. He's just like, come on, guy. <laughs> You, you didn't need all this. Now, he ain't the smartest character, so he's not the character you go into to do 10 strings. He's not the character you go into with long air combos. He's the one I'm going for the three-piece hitter quitter. That's yep. what I want. Bang, bang, boom. Not too bang. much of a jumper. <laughs> not too yep. much of a jump. If he punches you in the air, he grabs your foot, brings you down. Yep. Right? Yeah, he's that guy that grabs you. Hey, he has the air, the air raid. That's a back... That's a backbreaker. Come down here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the next character I have. Um, now, this was a Spider-Man run that I was shocked that I liked. And that's mm-hmm. Superior Spider-Man. When mm-hmm. Doc Ock took over Peter Parker's body. Now, when that happened, um, he was a lot more violent. He had claws on the, his tips. He also had, like, um, three, um, kind of like Dr. Octopus arms. He had, like, three arms uh. behind him. He's a lot mm-hmm. more raw than regular Peter Parker. So he's the one that's mm-hmm. like, I'm going to kill you. Like, you, you're doing okay. bad, I'm going to kill you. Okay. So I will have him in the game as the more the more aggressive Spider-Man. Okay. See, the, another character I had, and I'm, this is me reaching out the box here. Mm-hmm. Yes, it's still a Spider-Man character. But because I don't see enough of this character, I don't know how they would play. And I feel like since I got Tombstone, I don't need him. Mm-hmm. But it's Hammerhead. I was going to say that until you mentioned Tombstone. Because I that's what like, I said. That's why I feel like I, I, I feel like Tombstone and Hammerhead are going to play too similarly. Right. I feel like they're right there on the same line. Right. And if, and if anybody can give me another special for Hammerhead outside running through him with his head, I'll listen. Yeah, smashing his head on the ground. <laughs> That's it. That's it. it. Unless you want to say he jumps up in the air and comes down on the on the hawk type jaw. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's it. Because outside that, that's all he got. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's human. He just has a metal plate in his head. And I don't know how that became a Spider-Man villain. But Joseph don't get play at anything. Outside 90, Spider-Man is being Kingpin sidekick. Yep. Yep. <laughs> and since we already mentioned him, Kingpin. That was the last character I had on my list. Kingpin. Yeah, man. 
Dude, especially King. the way if if they model him the same oh. way he did in Spider Verse, I'll be horrified. Seeing they model him the way they did him in Spider Verse. Yeah. They model him the way they he did in Ultimate Alliance Three. They he model him huge. the way he, they did in Daredevil. It'd be problems all around. <laughs> huge. That's all. He's going to be huge. Now, with this being said, I had a couple extra characters uh-huh. who aren't a hundred percent Spider-Man universe, but have had great interaction and dealing with Spider-Man that they could be included in this game. And I have five of them. I have, now, I don't know if I want to have them as one character or two. Like, <laughs> I don't, I don't know how I have, have them. Um, did you want to go first? Cause only have like sure. technically one. Sure, sure. I'll just write off my list real quick and then go to you. Yeah, sure. Um, once again, once again, my fiance pointed this out to me. She was like, "Why didn't you say Iron Man?" Okay. Now I, I didn't want to add, <laughs> like because Iron Man is he's more of a staple character. Where he is the way I did it is like these are characters where I'm not going to read their series. Got you. I'm not. Gonna I understand that um, because. I only I'm on, I only know them, or I'm only like interested in them because they were in a Spider Man, uh, or they had a Spider Man connection. Whereas I I, okay. I I will go and read Iron Man. That's the way I did right. it, right? Personally, because the reason why she said Iron Man, she was like she's like especially coming off the movies with the connection between her and him and Peter Parker. How could you not have him in that game? I get it. No, yeah, I totally agree with her. I totally agree with. I her. get that. The only that that's that's the reason I didn't put like. Like, cause I would say Captain America if we was going with that, right? You know, exactly. I, I strictly wanted to say Spider Man. Got you. Another character I had was Squirrel Girl. Okay. But I see where you was going with Spider Ham is where I was going with Squirrel Girl. Mm-hmm. So and they, them two have interacted a lot. Right. <laughs> in comic I see books her interact more with uh, Spider Gwen than anyone. Right. So it, it, once again, it ties her into that spider universe, you know. Right. Um, you know, I'm gonna say this guy. No, I'm getting I... him <laughs> in every conversation awesome. until he gets a starry role. Let me, Moon Knight. Uh, like, let me just type him right now. <laughs> you knew what it is. I want to see the video of him doing stuff from the game he don't have. <laughs> <laughs> Like even based alone, if you go off the little interaction between the game Spider Man and Web of Shadows, and if you ever read one of Moon Knight's comic books, one of his combos actually centers around during the time of the Civil War of him having a conversation with Spider Man of how close they actually relate to each other but can't be on the same page. Right. Yep. I remember that. Spoon. Spoon. Ni- Spider Man's nickname for Moon Knight is Looney. <laughs> he's like. He's, a loony he's like. Too. I like you. You're cool. But you were just on some other side of the tracks that I can't mess with. Right. Someone else on that side of the tracks, the Punisher. Okay. <laughs> You're taking all New York. That, right. That, that's the guy. Punisher's the guy you need to fight Tombstone. <laughs> 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 oh, you all go guns don't work. Well, let's find out today. <laughs> <laughs> and then the last person I'm going to mentioned goes back to the 80s for me. Mm-hmm. But anybody don't know, I was born in the 80s. I am that old. From Spider-Man and his amazing friends is where you get this connection. Bobby Drake, Iceman. Okay, I thought he was going to say Human Torch. I know! You, you, can go, you can go Human Torch, you can <laughs> go Star, go you can go Starfire. <laughs> and, and he was pretty big in the um, in, uh, Ultimates as well. I think him right. and Human Torch, they lived with Peter Parker at one point. Yep. I it, it's been a while since I read it. And plus, if you, uh, random thing, if you put them three together with Deadpool or Rocket, you get a whole boost. And I don't remember what it is, the boost, but I think it's called Wise Cracks or uh, something along the line. Because <laughs> all of them talk trash. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, once again, you get somebody else closer to the idea of Spider Man, how. I'm young with this great power that must find a way to deal. Let's right. remember, Iceman is a is a Omega level mutant, 
at anybody that remember him from NBC2 with the perfect defense. <coughs> and the ice beams and the avalanche and shooting the millions of snowballs out the chest knows how powerful and great and a zoner he could be yep. in a fighting game. Oh, yeah. Definitely agree. Now, uh, like you said with your list, um, now I pick characters that where it's like, I'm not going to go out and read their... Um, I'm not going to go out and read their material. I'm only interested in them because they connect to a Spider-Man. And mm -hmm. the character I have is, a, is, I don't know if I want to add him as one or two characters, but it's Cloak and Dagger. Oh! Because they had a great run in, uh, I think it was the Miles Morales Ultimate Comics one, where they told their origins in that story. Really? Yeah, they told their origins in the Miles Morales uh, era. So I was like, I, I, and that's when I was like, okay, these are cool, you know, interesting characters. But other than that, if I read anything else, I was like, yeah, they, they suck. You know, it's funny. They have a TV series. I just never sat down and watched it. I know it's on uh, Disney Plus. I don't care to watch it. I feel like I watch Agents of Shield. I feel like I could watch this. Yeah, if you watch Agents of Shield, you watch anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> if you can watch I've Agents come Shield, too you far. Anything. It's not that bad. <laughs> You cut deep. <laughs> now, um, now for the last characters we mentioned, um, do you want to leave them as honorable mentions or do you want to strictly have them as DLC characters? I would only want these characters strictly as DLC okay. because I don't want to take away from the integrity of the Spider-Man game. Right. I think if I'm going, if Spider-Man's going to have his first out Spider-Man game, it should be done off the strength of pure Spider-Verse characters. Right. Whereas those characters are just extra gravy that could come down the line. Right, right, gotcha. Now, other than that, we have 28 characters full. What, you th wow. what do you personally think is a good roster base to start off with? Like, how many characters? I would say a good 20 or so. Right, yeah, because, uh, like, the gamer in me... Would love 10 and work it out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got 10, make it happen. Yep. But if I know I'm supposed to try to make some money off this, mm -hmm. I'm going to say 16 to 20 characters. Okay. That way you're locked in a base of 10 or more characters. Right. So you, you feel like it gives you enough time to continuously play the game, mm -hmm. to work to something, especially if we're going down the line of battle points. And you take these battle points and buy characters. Right, right. Now, uh, or it could be like how Midway is doing it because they're constantly supporting their game. That thing, yes. that that is that game's not going to die anytime soon. I don't see mm -hmm. a sequel coming anytime soon. So this, I feel like this is a game that will constantly, will constantly be a um, a supporting uh, a supported game. Mm -hmm. Now, um, let me make a list. I'm gonna make a roster list, and then I'm gonna pick a DLC list because uh, I, I have all the characters we named written down. Okay. So I'm just go down the list of each character and say like who would you rather pick as DLC. Once we get to 16 that that's I would say what'd you say 16 or 20? Which one would you say? Let's say 16. Okay. Once we get to 16 that's all we could have for the base roster. It, everyone else okay. is DLC. Now if you feel like it should change we will have to take a roster character out and, and like if you feel like a character that was later on the list should mm -hmm. be in the base roster, then we have to take someone from the base roster and put them as DLC. Okay. To give us a, a little bit of a challenge. Mm hmm All right, so right out the gate, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, will be in the base roster. Roster. If, roster. He's, if he's DLC, then don't make the game. Right. If, <laughs> if he's, he's DLC, DLC people are playing it. Right. <laughs> well, you got to take it to every man playing this game or random kid A that just probably seen the Spider-Man movie and thought Spider-Man was cool, you mm -hmm. open that game, you want to play Spider-Man. You're going to be the first person you play in the story. You're going to be the first person you pick on the game. Right. Um, next, we have the black suit Spider-Man. I personally feel that would be DLC material. I agree with that. I agree with that. I feel like you get your feet wet with regular Spider-Man and then new Spider-Man kicks in and you're like, hold up. Like, this Who's different. him? Yeah, this is different. <laughs> right. How many battle points do he cost? <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, we have Venom. I feel like Venom should be in the base. Yep, I agree with that. He's too big of a I villain. I feel like Venom's one of the big villains and also a villain that you'll come across. 
earlier on? Because you usually start out with big name villains and right. work out to this mysterious villain that's been behind the scenes. Example, anybody that's played the last game, Mr. Negative, you know? Yep. He was the forefront, and then that's when you know, Doc Ock. Right. So, yeah, I agree. Uh, next up, we have Miles Morales. I feel like he should be in the base. Now, I'm okay with him. Uh, it's, it, as far as the storyline where I feel like it should be the storyline, I feel like all Spider-like characters should be in, in the base roster. Strictly because of the story. Okay. If we're personally. going off story, then yes, that makes sense. Without a doubt. Strict, uh, personally. Mm-hmm. Um, next up, we have Scorpion. I it, dep- know. it depends <laughs> like, on when he falls in the story. That yeah. big character but it depends if he falls on the story. Because because most games, Stor- Scorpion, Shocker, and like Rhino are usually characters that you fight early when you trying to get to that point where but, if you had certain things, you would have dusted them off real quick. Like, yeah, they're the lackeys of the big villain. Right. So if I, I'm going to start, you, you get the lackeys early. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So, you know, yeah, I'll put them on the roster. Mm-hmm. Uh, next, Green Goblin. Now, I forgot, we did kind of include two Green Goblins. We grabbed uh, the Ultimates one and the regular one. I would say the Oof. Ultimates should be DLC. Okay, yeah, because that's such a harder hit in Green Goblin than the yeah. original one. Yeah. It's kind of the same idea that we said with uh, Spider-Man, Black Suit and Spider-Man. Right, you're right. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Uh, next up, Black Cat. I feel like that should be a base. I look. I need at least two or three women base from the beginning of this game. Yeah. Yeah. And right. Black Cat, hands down, will see so much play time. But if, if if I'm going to compare this, Black Cat would be to this as Chun Li would be to Capcom. Really? Because I feel like Spider Gwen would be that, be the Chun Li, which we have I, next. I, <laughs> see, I only see Black Cat more because also I'm thinking cosplay too. Okay, yeah, yeah, you, 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 you're blind. <laughs> I'm blind. I'm blind. I can't see. Yeah, I, I wear um, glasses. Now I put uh, Spider Gwen in the roster. Uh, base upon which we talked about. Yeah, really yeah. Uh, now Rhino, I guess we could put him on the base roster because of right. what you said earlier. Uh, mm-hmm. Next is Craven. I feel like he should be DLC. Yeah. I feel like that would okay be with that. DLC. And mm-hmm. next is also Mysterio, which I feel like will be DLC as well. Yeah, because that's more of an advanced play style. You got to learn how to deal with it. Right, and I, that's going to take time. To mm-hmm. um, next was Chameleon. I feel like he should also be a, a Well, because yeah, cause you can't have Chameleon that have people locked. Right, yeah. You, you, that's a good point. That's a good <laughs> point. <laughs> I didn't even think of that, but that's a good point. Um, next up, the Prowler. I will honestly put Prowler in the base. I'm not mad at that. I'll put Prowler in the base, if, especially if you're going to introduce Miles in the story. I yeah. Like if you're going to introduce him, they should introduce him in the middle of a fight. Yeah. Training montage or something like that. Something. Right, right. Uh, Flashbacks. Next, <laughs> next up, Silver Saber. Silver Saber. I want her early. I do too, but I feel like she'll be a DLC. She does fit more of a DLC. I just want her early. Yeah, me too. I, I know exactly. <laughs> we'll put her in the first wave of DLC. <laughs> Let's just say we'll put her in the first wave of DLC. Uh, next up, we got Shocker. Uh, like you said, with Shocker. Base villain, yeah. My bad, I'm just counting to make sure we on it long. No problem. Okay, so we got 10 characters in the base roster. We need six more <laughs> in the base roster. So this is where it starts getting difficult. Electro. I will keep him as DLC. Okay. I will keep him as DLC. I don't need to start with Shocker and Electro. I'm right. sorry. I know I feel that way. I know you don't, but that's just how. No, no. I agree. I agree. I agree. You shouldn't <laughs> start him with both. You shouldn't start him out with both. Like, they both shouldn't be in the same movie. Mm-hmm. You know, it, 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 plus, the names are like Shock. Elect, like it's right. <laughs> I was confused when I was younger, so I don't know about everyone else. Mm-hmm. And I also said Electro because I saw who's next in this list, and that's Doc Ock. And I feel like he needs to be base. A base. He's a base. Need need him base. Yeah, we're we're pretty much starting with the base 
Signature Six in a way. Now, I know I mentioned this earlier about characters that I would like in the game that I just know would be DLC, and that's Taskmaster. Mm -hmm. Taskmaster is definitely going to be DLC. Yeah. He, he's not going to be in the base roster, like it or not. God, you, <laughs> you, be, you be pissed dealing with him the whole game. <laughs> if you think you won't be pissed dealing with him the whole go game, play the last Spider-Man game. Yeah. Remember he how you felt. Moves. <laughs> he did. I was Look. like, okay, how did he copy my all? Wasn't it nothing like web swinging, and then you just like got him. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> he said, "Tom, <laughs> the time is now." <laughs> right now, for seventeen, you said Morbius. Yes. Um. Uh, I, I kind of feel like DLC for Morbius. Okay. Okay. I, I could go either one because I, I could have went. Either kind of feel like DLC. Yeah. Morbius. Uh, next is uh Morlun. Now he was the main villain in. The Spider Verse story arc, so I would. Well, just... is he... Yeah, if he's gonna be main villain, then he gotta be there. Yeah, he has to be there. Yeah. Next up, Carnage. Uh, he feels like a DLC. Do you? But do I you can... unlock Akuma? What'd you say? Do you unlock Akuma? That's or fair. is Akuma always there? That's fair. You know what? He could be that character that you unlock at the end of the story mode. We just gotta do extra missions and stuff in the arcade. Right. The, the okay. first time you beat story mode, you unlock current. And you're like, wait a minute. Or like, <laughs> yeah, or if you beat the story mode twice, like something like mm -hmm. that. So you gotta work for him. You gotta work for him. Right. Uh, I feel like Spider Ham should be in the base. Ha! <laughs> you you need a funny character. I yeah. need that. Yeah. Screwball. The way you sold her to me. I'm almost putting her in the base, but I feel like she DLC. I'm okay with Screwball only in the base. So you got them two rando characters from the start. Like when people's like, who picks this person? I'm going to pick this person because no one plays with him. That's how Charles got to play with Dan. <laughs> so you want to put her in the base? I want to put her in the base. Okay. Now I think that's 16. That we have in the base. And I think that's hard, but it is what it is. 13, 14, 15. No, 15. So Woo! Next one is Silk. That is a spider like character. So, but you know what? No, I'll put her as DLC. Okay. She wasn't hugely popular. Right. She wasn't that popular. People liked her run, but after her run, they just ended. They, they never brought her back. Okay. Uh, Lizard. Lizard is so iconic. Lizard is iconic. So how many How many Sinister Six members do you got? Because, yeah. you know what? No, Paul, how many anti-heroes do we have? Because I think Lizard sits on that boat of being somewhere in the middle. Um, I disagree. He's, it's almost, almost like a Jekyll Hyde. So it I is a Jekyll really, Hyde. I wouldn't really count him as an anti-hero. So would you count him as a hero or you count him as a villain? I would count him as a villain. But Dr. I count Dr. Dr. Kirk Con yeah, Dr. as a hero, a yeah. Hero, but he's not in control when he's a lizard. Right. So for um for Sinister Six, it's one, hmm. two. Well, okay, I'll just say their names. So Scorpion, Green Goblin, Rhino, Shocker. I don't know if you want to add Prowler to that. Doc Ock. So technically he has it. Te technically you got six, technically you don't. I'm not sure if Prowler account or not. I never known if Prowler account an official count or not. <laughs> right. Yeah, because he's his own Sinister Six. So right. I, no, yeah. I guess, uh, I guess we could put guess. him in the base. I guess we could put him yeah, in the base. Yeah, I guess we could put him in the base, but that locks it. Yeah, that locks it. So that if, locks it. If if we do, we just we're gonna have to we're gonna have to argue if we who we want to take out if we do have someone else. In there. Mm -hmm. uh, the next one was uh, Spider Man 2099. I'm okay with that being deal DLC. Okay. He'll be like an Eric. Right. 2099. Uh, next is Tombstone, which, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, Superior Spider Man. I personally kind of want him in base. So who you getting rid of? On a real? Screwball. 
I knew that was coming. <laughs> like on the <laughs> real screwball, I would get rid of her and put her as DLC. Because I was thinking maybe Spider Ham, but you need all the Spider Man from the beginning, right? Uh, I will put most most of the Spider People in the beginning because we didn't put uh, ninety nine in there, so I was like, okay. How many Spider Man characters does they make? Spy- Spider Men. We got one, two, three, four, five. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So one, two, three, four. We only got four Spider Man characters. The, the, yeah, I can get why you say another one. All right, yes, yeah, so I got Screwball, Just Back to DLC. <laughs> now we could talk about who we will have in DLC packs if you like, if you want to keep, if you want to go that far. Look, I w- look. I want in-game currency. I get so tired of spending money on games. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel you. I can feel you on that. Unless you want Screwball to be unlockable like Carnage. Can I have Screwball you know unlocks of Let- winning via taunt? Let's be, fair. <laughs> Let's be fair. Base roster does not include characters you have to unlock. Okay. So, you want to put Carnage and Screwball into one umbrella? Yes. Okay. So, that means we got one more spot for uh, the base roster. We live again. <laughs> um, now, you had Hammerhead and Kingpin with the last two characters. I I take um, Kingpin over Hammerhead. Okay. I always feel like Hammerhead is that character. You unlock Hammerhead and you're like, what am I going to do with him? Right. Yeah, like that character, yeah. like now that Should you're here, in the game, honestly, if we're being real, <laughs> honestly not because you got Tombstone. I, yeah, so <laughs> I, I would just, I feel like we should just take Hammerhead off. I got, if yeah, we're, if we're being real, and then we have yeah. all the honorable mentions, which we already said would be DLC. Yeah. Now, uh, did you want to go over who would be like who would you group up in DLC packs, or you think that's going a little too far? I don't even have answers for okay. who I will group where. Yeah, okay. That's fair. Um, I would, like I said, if possible, I would love the NPC2 style of a rotating store. Like, you go on with your points, you choose from these three people. Right. You exit out, you go back in, and it could be three different people. And every time you buy a person, the, the price of the store increases. Have fun. You just sit there like... But I, what was so smart about that during that game, and let me give them their props there. That made you keep playing it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That completely reinforced the idea of your love for the game. I feel like a lot of people's love for MVC2 is tied into their game time. Mm -hmm. For people that owned it at home on on Dreamcast or PlayStation 2, you have memories unlocking characters that now you can finally play with them because they cost... 4,000 points when you get 100 a match. <laughs> you can remember buying, I don't know, Shumagoras and like, what does this octopus thing do? <laughs> 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 and then sitting there and playing with him for so long that when he came out in Ultimate, you like, oh, I- I'm picking Shuma from the gate. Why? Because I rolled with him so hard because I had to. Right. <laughs> right, and that just drives up your interest for the game. It makes you get better. It makes you learn more combos. It makes you put more time on the ball. Yep. It makes you buy that fight stick for that game now because yep. you really learning that game. I 100 percent agree. Like if I play Power Rangers online, there's more people good with the Red Razor than they are Dashi. That don't mean Dashi's trash. Yeah, That's not Dashi, what I'm that, saying. I figured out. We found out he could heal himself mid uh, combo. That's first. <laughs> we found that out. We was like, oh, this is a problem. <laughs> right. But people have been playing with Jason from day one. <laughs> they have learned and owned Jason. They are learning Dashi. That don't make Dashi bad. Right. But it, but you grow in the game. Right. And I think that's kind of cool with the list we got because we have different types of characters, uh, different types of characters like Rhino. He'll be like the Rushdown. We got Venom, that's the Grappler. We got um, mm-hmm. we got uh, Black Hat, which is like an all-around like Perry and all that. We got mm-hmm. Spider Gwen, who's just quick on the feet. 
could fight. We got Doc Ock, that's also a range, but a grappler. The uh, Spider-Hand, which is a Looney Tune type character that's just going to be unpredictable. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I think we have a lot of variety here to begin with. I'm that's telling cool. you, put put this out. Mark it at 60. I'll mark it oh! at 40. I'll mark it as 40. You mark, you mark it as 40. You ain't going to do nothing but make money hand over foot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was like, how much is it? Like, Damn, I don't want to buy a new game. It's only $40. All right. All right. I'll pay for it. You're right. <laughs> you can draw... You pre-order come with a Spider-Man keychain, and people are like, "Well, I want the keychain, though." I mean, that's how. Or got, you get the spe- That's how I got. Go ahead. <laughs> I know you it did it. Twenty-four dollars with the DLC. I was like, Psh, "That's nothing." And the base game is twenty dollars. <laughs> I was like, Psh, "Man, come on." Why not? Yep, I hear you. Oh, Why not? <laughs> and we still getting content. It's like you know, as long as they special it, edition. It's all good. Special edition for a hundred. Somehow comes with an autograph of somebody. No, no, it don't. It don't come with an autograph. It comes with an exclusive comment for the game that is signed by the writer. Michael Brian Bendis. Get him back into it. Uh, Put him. And it comes with a Spider-Man lazy pointer that when you laser at the wall, it shows a web. Or his spider symbol. Take old oh, Spider Symbol be clutch. Yeah, if I can, just, uh, uh, I forgot what he did when he did the old comic books. So he had that flashlight on his belt. Yo, I was about to say <laughs> that if I could get the Spider Man flashlight belt buckle, is as I pay a hundred. If I play a hundred for Tony Hawk, just because it come with a skateboard, I pay a hundred that come with the Spider Man belt, so I could just shoot the sign at the wall in the bedroom I'm and on it right in my life. Hawk. I'm honestly debating on getting that Tony Hawk. I don't even play Tony Hawk. I just want the deck. <laughs> That's all I want. But yeah, but yeah, they released this. At this, I pick it up. I I'll, I'll see the minus. Hopefully, you guys will pick it up. If not, let us know if you got a character that you want to see. I know we left off Sandman, uh, which some people might get mad at. But no, no, I, no. Who people might get mad at Hydro Man? No, <laughs> will get mad that Hydro Man is in this game. <laughs> He's the reason why I didn't put him on the episode. So, because <laughs> I knew it was going to come. And I was like, I don't want to argue right now. <laughs> uh, yeah, tell us what you think in the uh, comment section below. If you have your own list, you can either email it to us at therealnerdcoalition.com. You could uh, put it in the comment section below. We'll definitely give it a read. Uh, I don't know if we want to make a part two of this. Uh, but <laughs> uh, it depends. Because the next game I want to do is Marvel vs. Uh, DC. And another huh. remake game because... That's like circling the internet because of Ed Boone. And honestly, it's been <laughs> circling for a while, but you know we'll get to that. We'll get to that. But uh, thank you, Quattro, for joining us. Anytime, my guy. Yeah, and thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and also share. Make sure that uh, like button goes blue because for some reason it's this glitch. So just click it on this. Just click for it, go on it for us, you know, and let it go blue, and it will be all good. Until then, we are out. <laughs>